I'm on a roof in Pike Road, Alabama, and the homeowners are having a pretty, pretty good size leak that's showing on the the inside of their garage, and it's it's happening right below this dead valley. This is what roofers call a dead valley when you've got several valleys that funnel into a a, a flatter section, and uh, water's getting in pretty good. This home is three years old, and it's. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where the flashing has been compromised unless we were to actually remove shingles. What I'm thinking though is that the water is coming in right here at this valley terminus and you can you can see where it's been caulked before with silicone and uh, some of that is just kind of worn away and I think that when you have a, a wind driven rain that water is, is getting in. Uh, behind behind this piece of trim right here and right inside that uh, that corner is what we call a valley terminus and it looks like it could probably be an easy fix we could just put some silicone um, there and probably fix the problem but uh, to do it right and to be 100% certain that we've gotten the roof leak we would have to remove shingles and, and investigate further that's it. This is Billy Guyette, and I'm in Pike Road, Alabama, looking at a roof leak in a dead valley.